All right, hey buddy, and this is a tutorial, or as usual, our intro tutorial into a series. This is dealing with a more educational based program. I was asked about this, um, had some finals and everything, and then finally had some time with Thanksgiving break to get into this. So we um, have our intro. So this is Pizza Party Fraction Practice. I didn't make any of these. The person who asked me to create uh, some help stuff created uh, these so uh, there's gonna be this and I'm gonna create uh, a bunch of my own like 2d whatever stuff and this set all the assets for downloadable except for these and the tutorials stuff that you guys can then use um, so we have our intro and then we have some coding Hold on okay so we have the instructions and then we have the first pr um, actual uh, question so it's basically how many pizza uh, is, you know it's it's fraction based so it's like okay two of that two two six eight tens you know all those fractions so we have our intro and what we're gonna do is we're actually just going to do some coding is we have our actual background so you want to click right insert new and I did a sprite so I could actually edit the size of this and I can import one right now to show you guys. So we're gonna do a check mark. I'm gonna leave it as is. And I did that as a sprite because then I can edit its size. If we do it as a background, insert new, we're gonna do a tiled background. We're gonna choose an object. I'm gonna do this good job. We cannot change the actual size of it. We can change how much we see, but we can't change this the actual size. So we want to use that more as a repetition, um, a basically a background that always repeats. So standard generic background. This is an actual object that we want to edit in size. Okay, so remember you want to click right and then you want to choose sprite, get your sprite, uh, and then you want to inside this dotted line. So right there. Okay, now we have a start on the actual background or edit, edit, uh, edited. We want to edit this type of background. And then what I did was I just in, um, imported a sprite. And then what I did was I just colored him. So I did a paint fill and then I did a color and voila. Now what we want to do is actually add some code to this guy. So on left click of button, uh, intro screen, uh, not the intro screen, uh, let's see, sprite. So we actually want to edit this code. It's actually going to be the sprite. We're going to say we want to then go to the next uh, layout, which is instructions. And what we want to do is go to instructions or that layout. And then when we say, okay, when we click on this um, colored cube, we actually go to um, the the first problem. Okay, so we're gonna say add events, and we're gonna say mouse click on object clicked. Choose the object sprite three. We're going to go to the first problem. So go to layout, go to layout or question one, and then we're done. Um, so what we're going to do is now we're going to demo this. Make it a little bit larger. Okay, so we're going to click start. It's time to feed our guests. Click on, uh, click on an order to start. Click. Okay, so what you have to do is actually you have to figure out how many pieces um, are outside of the box. So right now, so real quick, the answer is going to be two and then six because I'm like, okay, this is a 10 piece pizza.
Okay, 10 piece, yeah. Okay, so. So it's 2 and 6. So we're gonna run the layout. Click that. Hit 2. Hit 6. Boom. What you can do for that is to say, okay, congratulations, you have won. Um, to, to replicate that, I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. And to, what we're going to do is we're going to add a global variable. So a global variable um, affects everything inside the game. So you could always reference this global variable. I'm going to say score. Okay, and we're going to say uh, score equals to zero. We're going to add one to score. Let's see. Let's see, that would be, yeah, system add two, score value of one. And if that happens on the instruction thing, then what we're going to do is add an event and we're going to say, we're going to compare variable. If score is equal to one, done. What we're going to do is set sprite three and sprite three is over num the number one icon. We're going to let's see. We are actually going to replace a sprite. Add some other. Um, add some custom plugins that would actually replace said sprite. But this will do. Because I don't have it right here. The score is equal to 1, sprite 3. So we don't have a texture. Uh, let's see, can we add in a plugin behavior? Add. No, okay. Though so we'll just have to do it this way. Add. Um, let's see, set sprite six over this uh, position. We're going to set it to a different position. Sprite three. Done. So when we run layout, click that, two, six, we have a check mark. So we've done that. And we can always go here and do it again. Yeah, okay, so as you can see, we had an issue to where it wasn't repeating it. What we actually have to do is add in a reload. So that means that's always going to happen no matter what happens. Persistent. Make an instance of this, of this object remember their state when returning to the layout because otherwise we're just refreshing um, the game. So if we were to run it Go to one, put in two and six, and we want to put in two and six. See, it always has that check mark. Not that twenty-six, two and six. Okay, but say we get it wrong. What we can do is if score is equal. Is still equal to zero. Um, actually, not that. Yeah, score is equal to zero. Done. Let's see. Actually, we wouldn't need that. We're gonna go over to here. Okay. We can add in an else. Else means okay. Um, 
that you have a math program, uh, not a math program, a math problem, one plus one is two. Say I put three, for some reason I put three. That problem is wrong. Same thing here. If I decide to put the wrong answer, if I get the math problem wrong, we have an else, so it's either right or wrong. Um, so that's what this is. So else, let's see. Um, it's going to actually, we're going to reload that, sc uh, that screen, that level. Or no, go back to it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to it. So restart layout. So it's going to keep doing that. So if I put... Let's see. Okay, it seems it's not like the else symbol. Okay, again, we can also use a compare. Um, invert means to make it the opposite. If it's not one, then what we do is we can also reload or restart layout. That. All right, so I'm gonna have to work on some of this, um, but basically what we have is if I can get one of the projects to run, there we go, is a start, and then we have a question one, we put in the answer, and then we go, and we're good. Um, if we don't put it in, then we don't go, so I guess, we have to actually, we stay here until we actually do. I'm gonna put a, a tool tip so that we can get some help and then I'm gonna work on the, oops, you got it wrong. And then maybe a little quiz system. So I'm gonna do this more often to where I have it have pretty much done and then we're gonna go on and do some of the actual coding also. Hopefully you guys, you guys, um, Hopefully you guys like this video. Um, Thanksgiving is coming up, so it's got kind of packed with some family stuff. But I also have some more free time since I don't. I'm I've got some time off from school, so I will be uploading uh, this little educational series going up. So it's going to be some sort of pizza game, and then what we're going to do is we're also going to do some sort of um, identify items some drag and drop, um, maybe some more math based stuff or information based stuff so that you guys can create little educational video games and hopefully this will help. Um, so we're going to do some drag and drop stuff, some identification stuff and all that. So hopefully you guys you enjoyed it. Remember hit the like and subscribe button. This is a bit different from doing a, a straight up video game. This is a actual like educational video game which I actually really like and think Construct 2 would be a whole lot of good use for um, since it's pretty easy to straight up create and you have an error you can fix it pretty quickly. So hopefully guys you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.